Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome to Hardcore Skyblock. I've survived over 3,000 days in my hardcore Minecraft world with every block at my disposal. I'm taking on the challenge to see how long I can survive in the void. Where falling off means the end of the series. So far along this journey, I've already set up the basics, but today it's finally time to get passive mobs in the world. I have new merch! Bring home your own limited edition Goblin Flip from the Empire's SMB series. And check out the makeshift link in the description to learn more. Goblin Flip comes with a bonk stick to help keep you safe so order yours before it's gone forever now before we get to work on expanding animal island i would like to introduce a few new villagers into the trading circle so come here guys have some carrots a lot of carrots hi everybody how you doing oh great day out here perfect distraction aside next up i need to get some stone with a little bit of iron as well we can craft a ton of stone cutters now somewhere in the storage room i should have rails uh power yep that's really not gonna do it let's just make a few more i guess i never cleaned up the rails over here so i'm gonna collect these up real quick for the stone mason since they give a ton of building materials i want to give them their own entire section so the rail line coming all the way over here we can try and get our first stone mason yes you yes no no get in the cart get in my cart on the minecart yay i'll bring this with you don't worry you can have this first stone mason's in and this workstation you want to be next come on just leave the child behind it's fine and here goes number two trading away the remaining bits of my iron supply we can get a few more emeralds which we can trade for bricks not only does this give us access to the brick block we also now have flower pots i don't have flowers but I have a pot to put them in if I do get them, which I just think is neat. Time to finally fix this little hole in the railing while we wait for our baby stonemasons to grow. Any chickens in here by chance? Ow, not spiders. Oh, there's a baby, but no chicken. Try and stay a little busy over here so we can grab some more of the carrots, which I think I can trade over here. Yes, yes, we can. Oh, a lot. You take a lot of carrots. Oh, wow, thank you. And the pumpkin farm. Oh, no. Why, why are pumpkins in the middle? But there's pumpkins on the side, too. We're a pumpkin farmer. Please buy my pumpkin. Thank you and then I would like to buy a pumpkin pie. Now, one thing that's been absolutely terrifying me is that I haven't quite finished off the edge over here. So I need to throw in a bunch of cobblestone slabs to bring up the staircase. Just extending the risk of death a little further out from the central circle, center of the circle. The central point of the circle. Words are hard. Why do I hear zombie burning? Are they on the roof? Oh, zombies are spawning on the roof. That is... That needs to be fixed. If only I'd glow like to make this look aesthetic. I'm trying to stay busy while the little guys grow up and check this out. I don't know when that happened, but we have five eggs in here. How long ago did it was a chicken just chilling in here? I guess not using the mob farm for once has paid off. Let's craft up a few spruce fences for ourselves. In an attempt to spawn some chickens, I'm gonna put in a little temporary fence section right over here. Purposely not putting it on the grass because I want that to be free for new mobs to be spawning in. All right, eggs, come on. The ultimate game of chick chance, please. The... No chicken. Okay. Okay. A complete waste of time. A complete waste of time and materials. But you know, it didn't happen. Nothing happened here. I didn't want any chicken friends anyways. Didn't didn't need them. Definitely didn't didn't want chickens. Nope, not at all. Just like that, new villagers are ready to go. Who wants to be a stonemason? You do. Look at you. Oh, you're great. In place. Next victim, my the children got out. All the children got out. Child, child, back in safety. Come on down, Mason number five. Here we have number six. Number seven. Number eight. Nine. And 10. Everybody's locked in and I now have tons of bricks. I just need to keep unlocking them to get all of the terracotta trades. We can work on unlocking the villager later as now it's time to transition into the nether. My current piglin trading system is very manual and needs a big upgrade. Unfortunately, to be able to build an automated bartering system, I need wool to make carpets, which all turns back to needing sheep. So unfortunately, oh, he just disappeared. Oh, they're back, look at them. We need to gather a little bit of gold from the gold farm. Oh, wow, that's a lot of gold in here. Okay, there we go. We got two and a half stacks of gold now, where hopefully we can get a lot of gravel from bartering. Quick trip down to visit all of our piggies to trade all of this gold away.
Pearls. We are apparently now a pearl collector. That's the first time I've had a stack of pearls. Definitely not like I have a bunch of pearls in here, but that's fine. There goes the last gold traded away and no gravel on the final. But we do have four stacks and one gravel. Grabbing the leftover dirt I do have, and I'm gonna buy a brand new diamond hoe. Crafting up a ton of coarse dirt and moving into the forever skyblock project, uh, placing the coarse dirt down to hoe it down, turn it into regular dirt, recraft it and move on. And this here should be all of the gravel used up pretty much my shovel is almost broken so i want to see there's a fortune one that's only iron so it actually doesn't help there we go efficiency two perfect Find them together efficiency three to save a little bit of time i'm just gonna put the coarse dirt directly down on the island since this is hopefully the final home for it we can just turn it into dirt and not have to gather it up again which means it's time to further expand the sky island over here so we can have even more spaces for the passive mobs to spawn in adding in all four stacks of coarse dirt to the island and it's growing a pretty good amount with the little island expansion completed I'm gonna try something kind of stupid, I guess. I've got a water bucket to stay safe. Pillaring all the way into the sky here, hopefully we'll be able to get some passive mob spawns because the grass should be the only place anything possibly can spawn. Right, we are now in the clouds and I think I just need to sit here and really hope. We're in the plains biome. Come on, do it. Do the sheep thing. Hold up a second here. There's extra llamas over there. Is there? <gasps> a wonder trader. I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. We have to get down very quickly. Wait, where did he? Where did he go? Please tell me he just went invisible for the night. Buddy. Ah. Oh my gosh. Point of dripstone. Stay. You stay. Stay. Stay, little swirly things in the sky. Emergency emeralds, please. No. Okay, go quickly. We have to get emeralds. Okay, trading away all of the iron I can. We need to get a ton more emeralds here to hopefully be able to buy all of your point of dripstone. 10. Yes, it is lava time. You're right. Black dye is kind of hard to come by too. So I'm going to pick that up and the purple dye. The coral's not going to do anything. So uh, thank you. you. You had a great time. All right, off to the next island to grace them with point of dripstone. I really don't want to be mean, but off you go to the next island. Just go. Thank you. Wow, so nice, so kind of him. Oh no, slight problem. This has been left open the entire time, meaning there's villagers running free. Yeah, hi buddy. I'm sorry, you, you're you not in a protected space. I gotta send you into, the, no, no, into the little pit. Into the little pit, buddy. Come on now. Thank you, goodbye. The llama collection is growing and we're just gonna leave them there. As next, I really need to see if right now we're going full distraction mode. Will you trade dripstone blocks? Yes, <gasps> yes, yes he does. Woo, thank you. Oh, you're the best, I love you. Now let's craft a cauldron. Where can I go that I won't burn everything down? That's, that's the problem. I'm gonna have to borrow the lava from here for a little while as we can inch back up this way for now and we'll fix it and turn into something much better later. Gonna look a little sad out here, but cauldron, dripstone block with the point of dripstone underneath it and then we put the lava up here we're now yes you can see the little bits of the lava dripping off the dripstone meaning this will fill with lava eventually and we now have unlimited lava slowly very very slowly drippedly from the little point of dripstone you think but it's a big upgrade okay it's very important and just like that we now have a brand new bucket of lava meaning we can extend it out this way just a little bit and plop the new one in right there next one here is ready to go so i want to put this back here in the cobble gen oh this is so exciting. Passive mobs can wait. We have lava. For now, we'll get the three going and that should be a really good start because eventually I don't want to just be sitting like this. It's a wee bit ugly. I think about four episodes in a row now and we're on episode five, so that's really saying a lot. I've said I'm getting mm. passive mobs and dang it, today we're going to do it. Let's go get some more dirt. And by dirt, I mean gold from the piglins be able to get gravel, then get dirt. All right, here we go. We are now almost up to four stacks of gold, which is fantastic. Any more in here? Another, another one. Perfect. And with that, I traded all of the stacks down with our piggy boys and boats. Of course, turning all of this into coarse dirt again and again, placing it all down to expand the grass island, making a even more natural shape than just the circle of the main base. Where hopefully when all the grass grows over here, we might eventually, maybe potentially could possibly at some point in time in this world, get a sheep. I just, I just need one sheep. Just one sheep, it's all I ask for. What might work best here is if I just ignore the grass island and focus on something else, like chopping trees. My chests are pretty empty again, so a quick once over chopping down all the trees and replanting the saplings as I go is gonna make Future Fwip very, very happy. Wait, 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 hold up here. Future Fwip can wait, what are those? Sheep, 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 sheep. Okay, where do I have wheat? I need to get some wheat. Future Fwip's logs can wait, and we have chickens. Oh my gosh. 
Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Sky Island. Do you two want to come with me? You're just going to live right in this nice little box forever. Just kidding. I'll build you a home soon because welcome to the Sky Island. We have an animal friend. Look at him. It's a child. Look at our nice little family here. I love them. Right. Chickens. Chickens. We have to help the chickens. Now for the chickens, thankfully, I can just use a few trap doors and they won't be able to jump out. Come here, my little feathered friends. They should be able to jump in here and now they can't get out. Perfect. And a baby chicken. Don't eat my grass. You're eating my grass. Why would you do that to me? That's rude. We can get back into the nether, but first I want to finish chopping down the rest of these trees. So I just realized that's going to look extremely scripted, and I really wish it was instead of me actually just wasting two hours AFK while waiting for animals to spawn before I got so bored I found something else to do. Does anybody else just absolutely hate gathering mangrove logs purely because of the roots underneath? There are moss carpets here, meaning that we didn't need sheep at all. We could have just come and got some carpets from these. Oh, the joys of Skyblock. Time to get back on track and work towards upgrading the Piglin bartering system. Where for starters, I'm gonna need a lot more emeralds. To buy a little bit of redstone and a few name tags. I'm gonna need a lot more emeralds. With the redstone, we can make droppers. I need as many emeralds as I can get right now, so we're trying everything to get more. Never thought I'd actually have a use for rotten flush. There we go. All four name tags, which we're gonna all name to pork chop. It's needed, okay? I don't know why, but it's needed. The last item I need is already from the piggies down here with the little soul sand. You know what? I probably want my gold helmet. Gotta make sure the piggies are our friends. And where's my helmet? Helmet? Right, I can't find it, but we do have the technology to make another one by slaughtering a few zombie piglins first. And there we go, enough gold for a helmet. I do like the piglins being down on this lower level, so we kind of have our farm up there, then we have the working station down here. But I think I want to actually branch off going this direction. Why am I doing this out of the most terrifying thing of a platform of glass above the void? I don't know, but uh, here we are. I built this farm quite a few times in different series, and it's extremely useful for a super simple piglin bartering farm. Where the two systems are ready to go, I just need to get some gold ingots to lure the pigs in. Hello, I'm back. All my friends are coming to visit. Yay. 10 pieces should hopefully be enough. We'll just leave them to do the other thing. Take one. Let's no. Why are you attacking me? This might work out really well though. And get stuck. <laughs> Why are you mad at me? I opened the chest and see so you're mad, huh? All right, pork chop. Maybe you go cool off down in there. That'd be great. Thank you. You know what? I'm really terrified now of being knocked off. We're just going to build a little platform. And he's now boxed in. Now that I know the piglins are trying to kill me, let's get another one. Are we friends? <gasps> We're friends. Come here, buddy. Get the gold. Yeah. Do a nice little trade and come up here for another. Try and get this one. And he's it. Next piggy with me, please. They're really angry. They cannot get out of that boat. Follow me to the gold, piggy. Follow me to the gold. And in. Okay, so I only need one of you. So who wants gold? All right, buddy. There's some more gold up here. Come on now. Oh, there's two of them in there. And there's one. Wow, how did that happen? The world may never know. Oh, I forgot to name tag him. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I apparently didn't name two of them. Do you have a name? You look like you need a name. And now the farm should be done. This way, when I'm farming gold over here at the gold farm, where you farm gold, we can craft this into gold ingots, split it between the double chests up here, and click the buttons, and the farm should be going. And all of the lovely items will end up down here in the chest, where we already got a lot of gravel. Oh, that's fantastic. The last step to really upping the game here, increasing our gold production, is going to be to max out my sword. This guy here is pretty ready to go, but we desperately need looting three. As that's going to nearly four times the amount of gold we get. So one villager out here, please. Thank you, good sir. Into your boat. Nope. Nope, that's not a boat anyways. Into your minecart. Villager's now in place and have a lectern. Nope, I have to change it the other way. Sorry, sorry, it has to be the same. Now for the fun game of re-rolling this constantly until we get something I need. Looting three. Oh my gosh, why am I so surprised? Oh, that was way quicker than I thought it'd be. I need a bookshelf and a few more emeralds. Oh, there we go. We have it. Oh, wow. Now if we just run over here to the anvil, we can throw that directly on the sword for 37 levels, but that is, that is worth it. That is... That is very worth it in my opinion. <laughs> Woohoo! We got we got looting three. Let me know in the comments. We have two spaces to fill in here inside of our tool.
tools and in librarian's row, what should we put there? I need some ideas. As the next step, I want to create some homes for our new animal friends. Eventually, I would like to at least have like an auto sheep farm, but for now, we start with humble beginnings. And I guess the chicken's going to have a coop too. Do we get another chicken? <gasps> we do. Hi, buddy. I like the idea of having an island specifically for sheep, and I'm going to need a lot more cobblestone to build this. Crafting all this down into some slabs, we can start branching off this direction, where in order for sheep to regrow their wool, they need access to grass blocks. We'll bring that in later, as first I need to figure out the shape of this new island off of the grassland. We're now really hopefully for the last time today, I need to get even more gold. Let's do this thing. I expanded the storage because uh, hopefully looting means we get a ton of stuff. Oh my god, I might have turned an auto clicker on and left for five minutes, but whoa, okay. Uh, I guess this works. I guess this really works. Let's just get rid of these swords. I don't think we need them anymore. Look at all of that gold. Now, this is where everything really comes together. As I can jump down here, load these up with all the gold I just got, and start them off and go back to farming gold. But look at that. Already getting items. Another round of gold being delivered, and oh my gosh, we're producing gold ingots faster than the pigs can currently use them. And look at all of that gravel. That is a beautiful sight. Piggies, you've been great. I'm out. Next, I crafted up tons of coarse dirt to place down on top of the new island for the sheepies to eat. Well, once it turns into grass, but look at this. Look how much extra dirt and gravel I have. I've never had so much dirt before in my entire skyblock life, which means I am a very happy flip right now. That being said, let's grab a little dark oak, spruce slabs, and craft a ton of spruce fences. As next up, it's time for something that I am going to hate or... I could be smart. I know, it's not a normal thing I do, but I got an idea. I wanna build a railing that's gonna go around the entire island and actually give ourselves a little bit more depth. So if I come down below from here, I don't have to use the incredibly scary water trick to build down. My thought here is to have a little dark oak extending down and then we can do a little trim going along for five blocks and another dark oak pillar. I just need to send this around the entire platform. Right, that's the entire ring done, and I just need to strip down the logs as I go and tear down these slabs. Ooh, I'm really hoping I mob proofed it up above. Spooky time is now over. Now I need to run around and bring up all of our dark oak logs to be a little taller than sheep could jump over. On top of all the posts, I think we can just throw in a few lanterns that can help to light up the entire area. I'm gonna build a structure in the middle so we can deal with lighting that in a moment, but for the rest of the way around, I wanna include fences, which I know isn't the most secure right now, so we can just put more of the slabs on top, and I don't think the sheep can get between that gap. And if they do wanna jump off into the void, uh, that's, that's their own problem. We've got a decent amount of space over here, so let's start the structure back here with probably something about this wide. The sheep aren't going to need too much space, so we can mostly be decorative with this one, as I want them to hang outside. The archway can be about like that. Why not? It's a little squat, though. This should be fine. Maybe we extend the lean-to just a little bit over here to break up that shape even more. Okay, I've got to, I've got to fix this. This is, this is a little too weird for me. If we raise it all up by one and push this entire middle section up, it should fix it. We're now behind this. We can introduce oak planks going around the entire base and a big door back here to get out. This looks like it should work to have a small upper storage area. And then over here, we can move back into focusing on creating some sort of an awning for the sheepy to hang under. I think the outer trim on the roof is gonna be made out of spruce and that can go all the way around. For the center, I'd like to keep it on theme with what we did in the storage room and incorporate some of our mangrove. The edge over here, since it's a little weird, I'm thinking we do some trapdoors up above and we can almost turn these into little like window frames where I might need to patch in some holes. But most importantly, I did run out of light sources, so I need to go get some lanterns and sleep away the night. Ooh, it's gonna get scary. I'm really at the point in this world where torches are too expensive, so I'm just buying lanterns from the librarians, which we can throw outside. And I think the back edge should be pretty mob safe and inside's good. Yep. Now up top for a little pop of color, I think we just use some stripped acacia logs and a mangrove door for the front. 
Minecraft. Because for some reason, all Minecrafters do this, we can hang some lanterns from the end of the sticky outy bits. Now to make sure the sheep don't get out, we're gonna put some fence gates here and I need to turn this into a bit of a bridge. Copying the style from the fishbowl bridge, we now have a more safe way to transport the sheep to their new home where it's time to make the journey. Come on, everybody. Just follow the wheat. Slowly, slowly. No, to get down. Oh, okay. Everybody made it. That's, this is fine. I, I probably shouldn't hold a sword. Here you go. Have some wheat. Actually, everybody, I kind of built a second door. You really don't need to go inside that one, but that's, that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine. The sheep now have a great little home for themselves. Next up, the chickens need a coop to call home as well, which I think can go right over here. If we do some barrels and hoppers pointing into the barrels. We can build a functional chicken coop that'll collect some eggs. Realistically, I don't need that many. So if it's not hundred percent efficient, I really don't care. We can add a little ramp for the chickens to walk inside, little door out of oak. And then we surround this all with our spring roost trap doors. Okay, maybe on the side though, the chickens get a little window. Yeah, we can have a window. There we go. That one stays open and reveals the way into the coop that fully grown chickens won't actually be able to walk out of. Then anytime they lay eggs back on those two blocks, the barrels will collect them. Now we can add a little trim here out of some spruce slabs that just come up to stairs in the middle. Okay, new plan because that looks really bad. When in doubt, more spruce trap doors. Much better. That's actually a pretty good little chicken coop. Now for the fun part, I need to get the chickens inside the coop. Come now, my children. Come, come. I just need you to walk up here and fall into the coop. Okay, we have four chickens in. That's a good start. Number five. And nope, nope, no, nope, I'm in the chicken coop. Chickens are in the chicken coop. And the last one. In he goes. Have some seeds. Have some seeds. And goodbye. Now to give them a little outdoor area, we can continue to use trap doors as they cannot jump over them. Where I ran out, but we can use these. It gets a little finicky when full blocks are nearby. So I think we can come back along here and just turn it into a few little posts. I might regret this one. Ooh, we're good. The full grown chickens will hang up there and the little ones can walk out, which means eventually we can have a few inside and outside for the full on chicken decoration. Yep, that's what we're going for here. Uh -huh. But can anybody get out? Oh, they can all get out of the coop. That's a new feature. Okay, I've got a plan. I need wool, more wool to make. Gray carpet. This will move the chickens inside up ever so slightly on their own little rug. That should mean they're not able to get inside or out anymore. Perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not supposed to get out. No, get, get back in there. You know what? At least the chickens have a place to go home now. I think, I think that's a job done. Trading away a few more of our iron ingots to get some more emeralds and getting some more pumpkin pie as I've started to get very, very hungry in this world. But at this point, my friends, I'm kind of at the point of waiting for wandering traders to give me new blocks or we go to the end dimension to fight the dragon and get an elytra. But I feel like getting an elytra and sky block to me really kind of just says, hey, you won't die at all anymore unless you run out of rockets. So I'm kind of really not pushing towards that. I prefer to actually keep this in a fun skyblocking method instead of feeling like I can't die. That being said, I would love some ideas for projects from y'all, so be sure to leave those down in the comments below of what I should be tackling next inside of this world. But that, my friends, is gonna have to do it for today's episode. Be sure to leave a like if you haven't already. Please subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Yes, when this video comes out, I'm just getting back from vacation, so it might be a little while before the next video comes out. So thank you all so very much for the support. Bye!